All right, you've been Googling and you're looking for a way to make money and you don't know what you can do. You don't want to do surveys. You don't feel like doing Uber driving. You don't want to do DoorDash. You don't feel like delivering for Amazon. What can I do to make some money? And I want to do it online. I feel like doing something that I can work from home. Isn't that the new thing? Everybody wants to work from home. And I have to tell you, I do work from home, even with my nine to five job. And I love it. I teach online and I get to build my own business online. And I absolutely love it. So definitely, I encourage you to try one of these five ways. If they don't work, you let me know and I will come up with more. I promise you, you can build a lucrative business online. All right, let's start with number one. Print on demand. And you're going to say, oh, print on demand. I don't want to have all this stuff around my house and design things and, and, and you know, have to ship. Well, you don't have to. The only thing you have to do with print on demand is, yes, you have to come up with what you want the print to say. But even then, you could probably do some Googling and come up with some good ideas um, and find out what's selling. But print on demand basically has the products. There's three companies that I'll show you. There are more out there, but basically they will have the products for you to print on. So basically t-shirts, tote bags, and cups, coffee cups. They're very, very popular. And what you do is you design the print, pick out the t-shirts, pick, pick out the colors, whatever it is that you want to provide for your customer to choose from. When they use your link of something that you've designed, the company will print it and then ship it out. You don't have to do any of that. Isn't that a great way to run a business where you don't have to deal with the customer and all that stuff? If you're designing something that they'll be satisfied with, there's no complaints, any of that, you're in there. Now, some of these companies will even take care of customer dissatisfaction for you. So you don't have to do any of that. Now, how do you get it out there? That's where you have to do a little bit of work and you might, you have to put it on your social media accounts. There are accounts out there that will promote products for you, but then you may have to pay them a price. You can probably get it out on your social media accounts, maybe build a little website. Um, Wix is a great company where you can build a website and put your stuff on there and they start you out for free. But there doesn't have to be a lot of cost up front for you. Start out by just pushing your link out on Facebook and different social media and let people know, I've started this business, I'm really excited. And hey, start a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel, you can say, these are products that where I've started my business and these are the steps I've taken. What do you think about my products? And people will make comments. Do product reviews of your own work and people can make comments and possibly hit your link in the description and buy your product to help you out. Now, what kind of companies? I told you I had three to share. So where can you go to get these products printed? The, the first one is called Printify. You just go ahead and sign up. They'll give you all the details. I'm not going to go into every account and do that. But basically, you can see here, you design it, they print it, and they ship it. And then you can start your business. The second one that I thought was pretty good is called Printful. Same concept. You need to look at four or five different businesses and compare them, see what they offer and see which one is best for you. And the third company that I came out with, and I, I kind of thought this one had a little, a neat little twist. They are called T-Pop and they're echo responsible for print on demand. So they will look into the different fabrics and things like that. It's more sustainability that they're looking at in the fabrics and things that they're looking um, using for the products. So these may be a little bit pricier, but if that's something that's important, important to you and that's the audience you want to build, then that's definitely something you want to look into. So print on demand, definitely with the holidays coming up, I definitely would give it a try. The second one, you can create eBooks. You can create them for other people and you can sell them. Now you might say, Ugh, I don't like to write. First of all, if you do like to write, this is definitely something that's right up your alley, right? You can make eBooks for other people. You can start scanning people on the internet um, who I know I get emails all the time from people saying, hey, can I help you with this or can I help you with that? They're just trying to promote their business, promote their skills and let you know that they're there to help. It doesn't bother me because they're just trying to hustle themselves and get some business. I, I get them all the time on my website. Um, you can write the ebook, but if you don't want to write them, or maybe you have ideas and you don't want to put the time into writing, you can hire a ghostwriter. A ghostwriter? You can go to fiverr.com as an example, and you can type in, I'm looking for a ghostwriter. And what that means is this person will actually write the book and give you credit for it. And it depends on what you're writing. You may want to write a novel, or you may want to write a 
a, a lead magnet for another person in their company. For instance, you may know somebody that has an exercise company and they've been wanting to write a book to give to their clients on how to lose weight in 10 days or whatever that is. You can put that together and write that book for them. You can put your name on here as the ghostwriter and write the books, or you can write books and have another ghostwriter write it for you and sell those as well. I know it gets complicated, but you don't have to always do all the work. There are other people that will design in the background. But just to give you an idea of what a ghostwriter earns, um, you can see here that a lot of them start out $20, $25 in the beginning, or sometimes that's for the job or for the hour. You can also go to upwork.com. And here, just to give you, it's a different layout, but this person here is $50 an hour and they've earned 60,000 and they have a hundred percent job success. I do a lot of mine um, when I hire people from both of these places, but that's where you can promote yourself. If you'd like to write and you want to do projects for other people, you're right in your niche. But again, you can have them write for you and you can sell a product to somebody else, if that makes sense. Now, this kind of gives us a segue into the next job that you can do, freelancing. It kind of works the same way. If you have a gift that you have, and a lot of people will say, well, I don't have a gift. Well, I'm going to give you an example. My husband hangs drywall. And when people have asked him to hang drywall on the side, he'll do some side jobs. Um, he goes, this is easy. Why are they asking me to do it? Well, to him, it's easy because it's something he does, right? And when, and, but if you have ever tried to hang drywall, you know that it's not easy. It's very complicated. Or if you're a person that fixes cars or lawnmowers or things like that, and you're good at it, to you, it's not a big deal. But to everybody else, it is a big deal. I'm a teacher. I actually took my gift of teaching. I tell everybody I started teaching when I was five years old. Um, I've always taught. Um, I used to get the little kids on the block to come in and I teach them. But the point is, I can use that to make money. I've started another streamline of income where I sell digital products on Etsy and other platforms where I can sell things that will help people teach their children. Other teachers can buy it or parents and homeschooling can buy it. And it, I've used something that is easy to me to help other people where it's maybe not so easy for them. So you might say, well, what are other things? Maybe you're in the medical profession and maybe you're um, maybe just, or maybe helping women that are pregnant. You know, all of us who are women that had our first child, you know, you don't know a lot about that until you do it. Wouldn't it be nice to have that step-by-step -step book of what to worry about, have your questions answered, things like that. There's so much knowledge out there that people want and you can provide it. Um, by being a freelancer for that. Another way you can get your knowledge out for being a freelancer is by starting a YouTube channel. Just start talking about things that you are good at. The next one, number four, is online tutoring. And you might say, oh, you're just saying that because you're a teacher. Well, think about it. Just because I'm a teacher doesn't make me a good te a tutor. Um, not every teacher can be a good tutor. I know people that are not teachers and that are phenomenal with the English language. They could edit things. Um, they're just really, they have a knack for that. And you could become a tutor for other people in that area that you're really good at. Maybe you're math whiz and, and you're saying, well, yeah, but I don't know if I want to tutor academically. Um, let me show you two tutoring companies that are academic. And then I'm going to show you another company that you might be interested in that's more for language. And all of us can speak our own language, right? Well, and there are other people that want to learn, learn it. And I'm not just talking about English. You can become a tutor for any language. I don't know how to speak anything but English. So if I wanted to learn Chinese or Spanish or another language, Italian, I would love to have a tutor that could help me with that, that does speak the language. So we all have that gift, correct? Where do you go, right? I'm going to show you now. First of all, if you want to tutor academically, this one is called Tutor Me. Um, it's for different subjects. You can tell them that, you know, they, they have all these different subjects here available that you could tutor people in. And look at this, computer science, engineering, history, humanities. You may be a big history buff, just naturally. You don't have to have a degree. Now, some of these places want you to have one, but not all of them. If you can prove that you're proficient in these areas, I'm sure that they would be happy to hire you. Another one, this one is called tutor.com and you can tutor in higher education, K-12. 
and they give all their employee benefits, U.S. military, um, individual subscriptions, and so on. So the demand for one-on-one tutoring is very, very high. It's people want to learn and they can do it online. So you can do this from home. You've got it again, think about what do, what am I good and what can I offer to somebody else? Now here's the one I was just talking about. It doesn't have to be academic. This one is called Camly. And this one, for example, it, you can get your own private English tutor. Now there are other companies out there that they tutor in other languages, but I just wanted to give you an example. Just Google uh, tutoring. If you want to tutor other people for Spanish, then Google that and I'm sure companies will pop up. But you can make money. Any of us can do this one because we all have our primary language that we speak. If you're bilingual, you're even better off because you can really help that person with their language and the new language that they want to learn. Our last one is virtual assistant. Now this kind of goes in with the freelancing, but people will promote themselves as a virtual assistant. And again, you can go to LinkedIn and set up a LinkedIn profile and say that you would like to become somebody's virtual assistant. And we can go right back to where that freelancing was same type of stuff, but you're definitely only virtual and you can do bookkeeping. You can do taxes for people. You can set up, um, do editing and writing for people. There's a lot of people that have websites. They don't know how to design them. So you can be a graphic designer. You can be a website developer. The different virtual things that you can do online are limited lists, but you have to think about what is it that you're good at? Again, you may just naturally be good at something and you don't think it's a big deal. Get yourself out there and I promise you, you can make money. Those are the five things that I have, okay? Um, I can come up with more. There's tons of them out there. I try to keep my list small so that you're not overwhelmed, but check them out. See what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you have a blessed day.